Hey Defenders, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you guys how we can use Wazoo to monitor the resources on the actual server that the Wazoo Manager service is running on. So in the last video, we touched on monitoring the Wazoo processes themselves, but in this video, I want to show you guys how we can use Wazoo to also detect an unhealthy server itself, right? So the Wazoo Manager is going to run as a service on a server, whether that be a VM or a physical server, and we need to make sure that our server is also in a healthy state. Some points that I want and some resources that I want to cover in this is consume CPU. So if all of a sudden our CPU is starting to spike, how much memory is currently being consumed and how much disk space is left for Wazoo to actually write its alerts to. Uh, so these these three resources, CPU, memory, and disk, are of course crucial to your server as a whole. You know, high CPU consumption can slow your box down. Uh, running out of memory can be catastrophic for a number of reasons, not just from an application standpoint. And running out of disk would result in Wazoo not being able to output its alerts to the alert.json file for FileBeat to send over to Elastic. So running out of disk space, even though you're storing everything within Elasticsearch, running out of disk space on the server that Wazoo is running on results in missing out on alerts. We are going to write a bash script to detect system resources, that being CPU, memory, and disk space. We're going to write that output to our temp slash health.json file, so we're going to take advantage of the same file within the last video we're going to collect that file with the wazoo manager we're going to run the script every 30 seconds and we're going to create some detection rules to detect when let's say cpu is a is running at 80 percent or ram is at 80 percent or 90 percent or whatever so uh, some rules to detect when these thresholds are being crossed so let's go ahead and jump into it and all right, so I'm on my Wazoo manager here. Uh, so I, here I can just run like some simple commands like df slash h to get how much disk space is left for the root partition. Uh, here you can see I still have 42 gigs left. Uh, I could do like a free dash mh to look at memory that I have available to the box. But what we want to do is have our script run all this for us. So within the GitHub, which I will link to in the description below, I've created this uh, metric.sh script. Uh, so this is a bash script that will collect all of our system resources. So I'm going to go ahead and copy. I'm going to open. I'm going to create this file and let's kind of walk through it. So similar to the last video, I'm grabbing I am setting my host variable here to the value that this specific command uh, will be. This command will grab the IP address assigned to the interface that has a route out to 8.8.8.8. So if I save this guy off and just run the script by itself, you see I get the IP address assigned, assigned to to this interface here. You could also do like a host name if you wanted to. Um, that would work just as well. I'm just using this complex uh, statement here. Uh, not really sure exactly why. I probably spent too much time trying to figure that out, but a host name would work uh, as well. Uh, and then we're going to set our RAM variable, our disk variable, and then our CPU var variable. And these will be, these will equal the commands the the result of these commands that are being ran so let's step through the ram one for example so if we copy and paste that command there you see we get a 68.73 percent so this is saying if we do an h top we can see that's probably about right we've consumed 2.69 gigs out of the 3.7 allocated so this is saying hey your consumed memory is at 68 percent if we do the same for disk, let's see the disk percentage. So here we can see we have 18% of disk space that has been used. And if we do a df-h, we also see that same value there. So um, we are looking for the root partition, right? That's what this guy is doing here. So if you're maybe using like an NFS mount or where your logs are being written to are not within your root partition, you would just reflect that change uh, there. So I could say, like, let me look at boot, for example. So I'll say slash boot. And here you can see 20% and that reflects there. So my logs are being written to the, the root partition. So that's what I'm taking advantage of there. But you can change that uh, to how you see fit. And then let's go ahead and grab the value of the CPU. 
So if I copy that command, run that there, well, 0.08% being used. So the box is um, pretty, I mean, is pretty tame. This isn't really processing hardly anything. I have one, one Wazoo agent connected to this guy and Elasticsearch isn't very busy because I'm not doing hardly anything uh, on it. So that value is low there. Here you can see it's starting to raise up a little bit. But so what we're going to do is then get the value for these three variables. We're going to use that to build a JSON string. So here I have a, a JSON variable that is going to be equal to the output of these various variables uh, that run in this block here. So we're setting our host, uh, we're setting our host field to the value of the host command that is ran, which would be my 192.168.216. Then we are setting the RAM field, and these are just static, so you could change this to memory if you wanted to. But we're going to set that to the output of our free memory command here. We are doing the same for CPU, so we're setting our CPU field, and we're setting it to the output of this command here, and then we're doing the same for disk, uh, which we are doing here. And then we are echoing out the contents of our JSON variable. So this string will be built as part of this variable. And then we're going to echo that into our temp slash health dot JSON file. So, so if I save it and actually I need to change the executions. So if I go ahead and run this guy and cat out our health dot JSON. Oh, well, it was running in the middle of the other script. So I'll run that again. Um, here we can see our contents. So we see RAM 69, nice. Uh, CPU is at 0.31% consumed. With disk, we've only consumed 18% of our total disk space. So we're able to get our metrics now, which is really cool. Uh, and if I run this again, and we can see we can see memory starting to increase a little bit. Uh, CPU has increased a little bit, and our disk percentage is of course still the same. So that's looking good. So our script is is running and running well. What we need to do now is tell Wazoo to run the script every 30 seconds. You could take advantage of a cron job to do this. I am actually going to rely on Wazoo to run it for me. So I'm going to go into my edit config. I'm going to scroll all the way down here. And this will be put on the Wazoo Manager itself. Um, so this won't go in like an agent.conf or anything. I'm gonna copy our previous command that we built out uh, in the previous video. So if you haven't checked that one out, go ahead and check that out. So I'm gonna set our tag to metric and then the command that we want to run will be our, we want to invoke our opt uh, slash metric dot sh script. So we're telling Wazoo, hey, Wazoo Manager, I want you to invoke this uh, script at a set interval of 30 seconds. And this interval can be seconds, days, weeks, months, and maybe even years. Um, I'm not sure about the years, but their documentation gives you the options that you have. We're going to ignore the output because we are writing everything to the health.json file. And then we're going to say run on start set to yes. So that anytime the Wazoo manager service restarts, this script is ran at boot. And I'm actually going to disable this one for now so we only see our metric.sh since that's what we're focused on in this video so i'm going to save that and if we get back onto our box and let me just tail the metric.sh oh wait sorry <laughs> let me tail the temp health.json and we should see uh, every 30 seconds, we should see our script being ran, which will result in our health.json file getting the new values uh, every time the script runs. So if we wait here for 30 seconds, we should see another entry come right in. And there we go. So 30 seconds passed and now our script was invoked again, which resulted in the output to this health.json file. So that's looking good. So now we need to tell our Wazoo manager, hey, I want you to collect this file so I can now create rules for you to evaluate this file against. So going back into our config and scrolling down here, I did this in the last video. So that is already here, but if you didn't follow along with the last video, you will need to add this block here. 
which I'll link, I'll link to the GitHub uh, in the description below, so you can go ahead and, and copy and paste. Uh, but here, what we're saying is we're telling our manager to grab our temp slash health .json file. So we're saying the location of that file and the format is JSON. So so Wazoo will know the the format of this file. So that looks good. Uh, so you'll go ahead and save that. And now let's actually create rules that will detect if say for example cpu has reached 80 percent um so i'm going to go into management i'm going to go into rules let's go custom rules rule files and select our pencil here and let's do a test just to prove that as of now nothing will get collected so if i just copy one of the single entries here and run a rule set test we see no results found right so what we need to do is create rules that will be able to parse out the contents of this entry and, and evaluate it for, say for example, if RAM is over 70%, which in that case it is. So back in the GitHub, which I'll link down in the description. Uh, let me go to the right, this guy. Um, so here are the, the previous rules that we created. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, you can go ahead and check out. But if you're just following along with this one, uh, this will be the block that we will copy here. So let me go ahead and copy that. And I will just paste that here. And let's go ahead and walk through it. Uh, so here we go. So first, so we are first telling Wazoo, hey, we, this is, this log entry will come in as a JSON format. I don't know if this is technically necessary. Um, I think Wazoo is smart enough to detect that, but I'm just hard specifying it here. And then I'm using this rule to actually group up our metric health check collection. So here I'm saying the field name of CPU uh, pretty much just exists. This regex is just pretty much, it's just like a wild card. Um, this would match on any on anything. So this is good logic to use to group our metric health check events together so again field name set to cpu and that correlates to what the field is here right so i know that every every metric collection log output will have this field cpu so this is a good this is a good way to group all of our metric rules together and then off of that i'm going to do if statements so if if it is a metric health check, right? Because I'm saying if signature ID is 100,014, which relates to this rule above, then I want you to look at the field of RAM. So that correlates to this field here. So I'm saying, I want you to look at the value of RAM and then we're going to do a regex match. So this little character means beginning of. So if RAM, if this value here, was an eight that would trigger this alert so we're saying if the start of this field is an eight and then we just say we don't care about the trailing this would mean it's an since this is a percentage this would be 80 to 90 percent wow he is super dumb right because we're starting with an eight and then we're saying we're just wild carding the end of it we then have this pipe here to say or so this is an or essentially and we're going to say or if this starts with a nine then we could assume that memory consumption is at 90 percent 90 to 99 percent that's good so we're saying that here and then we have another pipe and if it's set to 100 then um that would be set there then we pipe to say, or if it equals 100, then that would be matched there. And if this rule triggers, we'll say memory usage is high, and then we will output the actual value that was grabbed at that time of run. And then we're doing the same thing for CPU, and then same for disk. So here we have our threshold set to 80, 80 to 89%, 90 to 91%, and then 100%. And then we are doing the same for our disk field, but here we're starting our threshold at 70. So this would be 70 to 79. This would then be 80 to 89. This would be 90 to 99, and then you have 100. So we're saying that if any of these match, 
Then I want you to output, hey, disk space is running low or CPU usage is high and then to actually grab and then to actually grab the value of that field at that particular time. So let's go ahead and save and then let's go ahead and restart. And then we'll do a rule set test. Let me grab the contents of this and let's just do a rule set test. And all right, so our manager has been restarted. So let's go into rule set test and let's go ahead and test this out. Now this won't, uh, this this will only, tr this should only trigger our metric health check rule. So if I go ahead and say test, scroll down here, our metric health check rule. So rule ID 100, uh, 100,014 is the one that triggered. And that is correct because RAM is not at 80% or above, CPU is not at 80% or above, and disk is not at 70% or above. So now let's change, uh, let's change the values of this. So let's change from 69 nice to 89%. So if I go test here, here we can see now our rule ID 100,015 triggered memory usage is high and then it outputs the value uh, that it was at that particular time. And then if I change that back to 69 nice and let's say disk I put to 78%. So if I test that, here we can see our rule ID 100,017 trigger, disk space is running low, and we see the current value at 78%. Now if we pop into Wazoo, we should see, or if we pop into our uh, security events here, we should see these guys be populated. Um, so here we have, so here we go. So here we can see our health check. Uh, let me remove those two fields. Those are from the last video. And let's get the contents out of these guys. So I'll parse out the RAM, parse out the CPU, and then we'll also parse out the disk field here as well. And you can see this running every 30 seconds, right? So Wazoo is invoking this script every 30 seconds, which is exactly what we want to happen. So, and now here we see our three fields. So our memory, so here we can see the different values our CPU percentage and then our disk as well. So that's looking good. We then have our child rules to detect and alert us and we set these levels to 12 because these are higher severity alerts to when memory is being over consumed, CPU is being over consumed or disk space is starting to run low. And you can of course then route that to the appropriate channels whether it being Slack, uh, send it to shuffle, send it to the hive, whatever you can get to dig in and hopefully resolve the issue. You could of course, you know, there are agents that detect this for you such as like Zabbix or Influx uh, but if you just want to use Wazoo to actually monitor your servers themselves uh, you very well can do that. I think that wraps it up for today's video. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one.